Stugatz is going to give us the play-by-play. Uh, Chris is saying we have no time for bobbing for apples. We've got time. We've got plenty of time. Man. We've got time, Chris. I know you're hoping that with all the ads and the way that corporate is selling this stuff that doesn't give us room, that you can get out of this, but you've gotten out of it for a couple of days now. You're not going to be able to get out of it anymore, so Chris is ready. Chris is in front of Abuelas Casuela. Uh, a couple of apples. What are we going for here? He's got to get both apples? Is that what we're going He's for? He's got to get both apples. I will time him, and this will establish a new high water mark here on the day. On really, the Billy? Show. You're going to be, really, Billy? You're going to throw your hands up and be frustrated for Chris when you put him in this position? You're the instigator always on this stuff, and now you're going to be frustrated at how unfair it is to have to get both apples? Yeah, I mean, one seems like it's an adequate amount of apples. Why don't we try for one and then see if we can set a record at two? No, because it's a very small receptacle, right? So, like, it's going to be very easy to get one at two, where the real difficulty is is when you have a big base and you're trying to get that last apple. I disagree. I think there's going to be very little, like, movement here. And what's going to happen is he's going to go in and the apple's going to hit him in the eye and he's not going to be able to get it next to his mouth. It's going to be like Austin Powers trying to reverse out of that hallway when he's just, like, in a hallway. That's going to be my head. (laughs) All right, let's do this. It's going to be a floating corpse. (laughs) Don't breathe underwater, (laughs) please. A bloated, waterlogged corpse that is drowned in Abuela's Casuela. Did you sign the waiver? Uh, what happened? All right, let's do this. Uh, go ahead, Stugat. Set us up. If he doesn't get anything, then you got to filibuster. You got to just make do. I, I know how to do it, Dan. I got it. All right, Chris Cody is sitting in his chair. He is bobbing for two apples because he said he could bob for two apples. We're still anyway. Start going, Chris. Let's go so I can set up the play by play. Chris, oh. with his headsets on in his kitchen, okay. is Hold sticking on. his head. He can barely get his head inside of the bowl where the apple. Are. I'm not certain he'll be able to get low enough to used, actually get one air. apple. It is not, you know, water, though. Is there is a ton of water going. all over pouring <laughs> out of what Chris Cody's face, <laughs> nose, and ears. I mean, it's everywhere. Oh, my God. He is coming up with no apples but plenty of water. It's amazing. And soon the only thing that's going to be left in that pot is a couple of dry apples and perhaps Chris's face. Oh, he's using his hand! Ah, he is my hand! Yes. Ah, Chris yes. used the hand, got one! Yes, he cheated Peter. with his hand! Ah, that was tough. That is one apple. All right, yep. we will try to get the second one without cheating uh, right now. Let's go, Stu Gods. Let's go. That's a All right. Apple. It's pretty good. Don't cheat. All right, well, one more apple to go. So Chris has stuck his face back in there. He's going for the second apple. Can Chris pull off the impossible? Having never done this before, and then bobbing for not one but two apples in a three-minute span while wearing headsets and putting his face in a bowl you know I mean? where his face doesn't that fit. That second apple is tricky. I'm, yep. I'm learning that second that apple is tough. It's like spearing a fish. You got to get in quick. You can't be slow. All right. So he is uh, no, he's going back in. Side. He is going. He, j- he used. He, oh wow! He can't do You're it. You're quitting. You're quitting. Wow. His face is very red. His face is very red, redder than it yep. usually is. Yep, that's unfortunate. Big shot, Bob. Good. He is not. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> my daughter. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Let's go. My private jet isn't going to fuel itself. <laughs> Roy, what did you say about Claire? About Princess Claire? My daughter's judging you, Chris. Uh, Claire, what do you think? Ask Claire what she thinks of what's happening here with uh, Chris Cody uh, because he's still tr- trying to do this. Uh, and Claire, what do you think about uh, Chris Spaling? What do you think? Yeah, she's judging you. Buddy. Yeah, she's just like you, Roy. Right? <laughs> when, when the microphone comes to her, you can all say of the sudden... apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Hey, hey. 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 jerk. <laughs> 303 Protect, and Chris is still trying. We will continue to watch him, and we will get you an update. I'm going to try suction instead of biting. <laughs> no, no. What do you mean, no? You've been doing plenty of sucking. Don't suck in water. <laughs> he signed a waiver, Bill. <laughs> 303 Protect, and Stu Gods, tell the people, and we will see. Oh, wow, now Chris's embarrassed daughter, embarrassed of her father, is in the mix. Uh, we will continue to give you updates as they're available.